Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. In the last video, we ended off, uh... What did we do in the last video? I kind of forgot. Oh yeah, that's right. I got the three Wither Skulls so I can, uh, spawn the Wither now, but... I'm not gonna be beating him anytime soon because I still want my full Netherite. And the right enchants on it so I don't die like in three seconds trying to fight him. That's about it though. Uh, I got the three Wither Skulls. I did some other stuff off camera. But I just like cut it out of the video because I didn't want to make I didn't want to drag the video on the whole video was just getting the three wither skulls I didn't want to make it any longer than it shouldn't have been So all you guys saw me really do was get the three wither skulls and that was about it I also got like a bit of netherite while I was down there But like only like four pieces that was it and, like only like one ingot in total to be honest So it wasn't even that much but anyways in this video we're gonna be going to find a shipwreck or a Yeah, whatever they're called like you know those those wrecks in the ocean and I thought of doing it because like I'm right in front of a big like like lake or ocean I don't really know what this is and They give some pretty good stuff not gonna lie nothing I really need but it's gonna be kind of fun because if we go down there and get the Treasure map we can go back and try to find a treasure chest Which just has like a good about like a good amount of stuff in it. You can get like water breathing potions some diamonds, maybe um, like just random stuff, but like I, it's kind of fun, you know. All right, so we're gonna start our journey. We're just gonna sail off, and hopefully not die. What is? I don't really know how hard it is to like find these. I don't know if they're like rare now or anything. I mean, I, I found them pretty easily, like on regular versions. But it's gonna be kind of hard to see through the water. What is that? Wait, I also remember if you feed the dolphins some fish, they lead you to one. So if I kill some some fish and give it to the dolphin, if you can stop moving. Oh, it worked. I got to follow him now. He's going to bring me to one. I don't know if he's going to bring me straight to one or I do have to keep feeding him. Wait, he stopped. Is there one below me? No, I think I am going to have to keep feeding him because he didn't bring me to anything. Okay. So, I'm just going to feed him a little bit more. Eat it. There he goes, there he goes. Get in the boat, get in the boat. Come on. We got to catch up to him. He's fast, he's a fast little fella. <laughs> he stopped again, dude. He's not bringing me towards anything though. There's nothing here. Honestly, I think I'm just going to have to find it on my own. They don't really seem to be useful. Yeah, I'm just going to have to keep rowing till I find one on my own. Like, just see one in the water. Because they guide you to the right direction. But they just don't bring you to it. Which is annoying, because I don't want to have to keep feeding them. I'm going to feed the dolphin again, because, like, why not? I can't. Where is he going? He's going that way. Did he bring me to anything? Nope, there's still nothing here. Okay, we're just gonna have to keep going this way, because this is, this is where he's bringing me. Oh, right there. I see it now. Okay, so he was giving me the right direction. So, all right, we're going to go loot it now. It's pretty big, too, so there might be, like, a good two chests in here. Oh, there's the map. I don't need the paper, so I'm not going to take the paper. I'm going to get back up for some water, though, for oxygen one. So, where is this treasure at, though? It's this way. Oh, it's like just on this piece of land right here then, huh? Alright, so we're at the piece of land where the X is. I always have trouble trying to find exactly where the chest is. And it's so annoying because I end up digging, like, digging this huge hole. Oh my god, I forgot how fast I break this. Oh, oh, it was right here. Dude, look how big this hole is. And it was underneath me the entire... Okay, okay, this is not bad. Some TNT, diamond, name tag, a disc. Um, I don't really know if I should... Yeah, anyway, I'll take it anyway. 
Heart of the Sea. Oh, that's actually really good. I could use that for building a conduit. But I need the shells, and I don't really think I have enough shells. Because I don't think I have any shells, actually. But that was a pretty nice find. I got some TNT from it, which I kind of like. Because, I mean, I probably could make a lot of TNT now that I have all this sand. And, yeah. That was pretty nice. Not gonna lie. There's light. Oh my god, there's light over here. Oh my god, there's light right there. That's a village! We're gonna go there. I'm gonna leave my boat. Actually, no, I'm not gonna leave my boat because we're gonna need it again. Yeah, the light was just some lava here. The lava pool. Let's go to that village, though. And I just fell in a cave. Take some iron, why not? I completely forgot Fortune 3 works on iron. Oh my goodness. Dude, how many... How much did I get right there? 27. 29. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, I didn't do that much damage to me. I got 51 already, almost a stack of iron, and I just got down here, bro. You know what? I'm gonna stay down here for a little, just to mine. Oh, my gosh. You know what would be really nice right now? If I could find, like, a good vein of diamonds. I think I'm too high to find diamonds, though. I don't really know the spawner anymore for them. I always forget, and the new Caves and Cliffs update kind of messed up where they usually spawn. I think it did at least, because I don't really find them that easily anymore. Oh my gosh, I found an aquifer. Pretty much this whole cave is filled with water. Dude, this is crazy. I don't think I'm going down here for the diamonds though. Okay, never mind. Oh my gosh, dude, that scares me every time. I hear zombies. Is there things? No way. There's a cave under me. Oh, here it is. Took me forever, but I found it. Like a really long time. I was digging for so long. Oh my gosh, this cave looks nice. Ooh, is that a mine shaft? Ooh, a chest. Okay, never. Ooh, a name tag. Okay, that's not bad. Everything else is pretty useless in that chest, though. I'm not trying to get lost in here. I like how I was going to go to the village and then I fell into a cave and now I'm in a mine shaft. It's kind of funny because I was not planning on doing any of this. But it's alright. Because I think we're about to leave right now. This mine shaft is kind of dead. Unless I find some diamonds. Well, I just came back from where I came from. Okay. I'm just going to jump. That was pretty fast. Ooh, I want to go up there though. What is up there? Oh, there's really nothing up here. It was just this little section. Yeah. That's lame. You know what? I got a bow, too. What's up? Yeah, I got a bow too, bitch. Oh! Nah, call me, uh, 
I don't know who that archer dude in that cartoon was really good at like shooting bows. I don't know. I don't know. I forgot his name. <laughs> Call me him though. Oh, diamond. Oh no. Don't blow up the Okay, he didn't blow up the diamond. <laughs> Two separate veins though. They're not even connected. That's weird. That don't matter. Still take them. Oh, what? They only gave me one each? That's lame. I'd use that my fortune pickaxe, too. Oh my god, the way out. I'm leaving. I am not staying in this cave any longer. This cave is lame. It looks cool. Sure, they look cool. The caves look fucking cool. They're amazing. But, resources-wise... This shit dead. Alright, we're finally out of the cave. It took forever, but we're out. We're in this weird-ass spruce biome. I have no idea where the village is at now, but... Not even gonna lie, guys. I'm, like, 99% sure I just lost myself. So... Yeah. I don't know where I am. Oh wait, there's the village right there. Okay, so I'm not lost. I know where I'm going. If I go this way, that's the village. And if I keep going this way, I'll, I'll eventually reach the water again. And then back that way is where my house is. A villager. I'm close now. Yeah, I'm right here. This village is thriving too. I'm gonna have to sleep in one of their beds. Sleep in your bed. <laughs> little baby villagers bed finally morning time do these guys have anything of use there's a cartographer here oh whoa chill out you're not killing him what do you have not bad it's okay I'm not giving you my coal though if I could find the cartographer that'd be kind of cool because he can give me a map to like an ancient structure and if it's a woodland mansion I am so down to raid one of those. You know what? I'm going to take one of their cartography blocks just because I don't know if I have one in my village. Because I, I want to raid a woodland mansion sooner or later. So I just took one of the blocks. Now I'm going to go home for real this time. And I'm not going to make the journey any longer. So I'm just going to cut back to when I'm there. There it is. The village. With the huge ass wall around it. My house is, yeah, my house is right there. Oh my god, the roof of my house looks funny. It looks like a gnome, like a garden gnome. That was a good little trip. I did the treasure chest. I found a cave. Now I'm back home. I still have the cartography blocks. I've been recording for like about 40 minutes now. Getting a little long. I'm gonna put all the stuff I got back in my chests. Like the three diamonds. I don't even have a lot of diamonds, dude. I really needed to go down that cave and find diamonds, and I, don't, and I didn't even find any, except for those two, and the fortune didn't even work on them. So that's annoying, but I did get a lot of iron, so I'm going to smelt that iron. Hopefully I'll go mining again one day and actually find more diamonds, because I'm running low. I had like a stack almost last time. Do I have any TNT? I don't, so I'm going to keep this in here then, somewhere, I don't know where. Put that there, I guess. <laughs> and the name tags, they're gonna go there. I don't really need to name anything in here. I don't I can't name a villager, I don't think, so Yeah. Alright, I got a lot of stuff cooking right now. I'm gonna go put the block, the cartography block, in the village. And I'm also gonna check if I already have a cartographer so I can trade with him. Cause I was gonna trade with the one back at the village I found at the spruce biome. But then I realized I was like, I don't have any of that stuff on me. And I don't really feel like leveling up a random villager and never coming back to that village. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to steal the block. Pray there's someone that takes the job. But I don't know where I'm going to put it. That's the thing. I could probably just put it in like the middle. Because if there's no actual spot for it, I'm just going to put it there. Yeah, it's a good spot. Someone should eventually take the job. I don't expect it to happen instantly. Oh, it's actually the time where they all go in the middle. I get to see how many villagers there are. We have a decent amount. Enough to make the village 
alive, that is. There's still some over there that are not coming over here. <laughs> this is so funny to watch. They're just making like noises and just staring at each other. <laughs> Wonder what it's gonna look like when like this is over and they have to go back to work. Oh, I think it's happening. They're just kind of staring at me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why are they all staring at me? One thing I'm just not noticing is I think the iron golem is dead. I haven't seen him in so long. And I'm starting to think he's not alive anymore because the village isn't that big. So there's nowhere he could be like stuck or hiding. Yeah, I've ran around the whole village now, and I don't know where he is. And I'm picking up these leads. I don't know why, but I keep picking up these leads, and I'm assuming that uh, the wandering traders that spawn in here somehow died. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't, I don't know how anything is dying, because there's no way the Iron Golem died. Unless there's actual mobs that get in here when it's nighttime. I haven't even tested that, if it's actually like fully safe at nighttime. It's about to be nighttime again, so I guess I'll see. But I have a lot of iron, so I'm gonna make like a good three iron golems and put them in here. I shouldn't need that many because, like, it's a small village. It's not gonna really, you know, get like overthrown if I have like seven in there. But if I do have seven, then literally nothing can get in. But three should do because I have too much iron. So I'm just gonna use it on the iron golems. I'm gonna make some right now. But I have 12. I have enough now. I'm gonna go back to the village and put these down. So I can protect it. I mean, it's already protected with the huge ass wall I made. But like, that's only from the outside of stuff. Like, stuff can't get in anymore. But things can still spawn in, I think. Let's see. Nah, there's nothing that can spawn in here. It's so bright in here. One thing I'm noticing is the village is overpopulated. And there's villages or villagers that aren't even able to sleep at night because <laughs> if you can see there's just some standing upright walking around because they can't sleep because there's not enough beds <clears throat> beds my bad yeah, i don't know if you guys noticed but i am a little sick if you can tell my voice sounds weird and i've been having way more voice cracks than usual i usually well that's not right there you go. One iron golem. Only two more to go. They place them in different parts of the village. So if they don't leave that area, at least they're protecting different parts of the area. Because I don't know if they'll really move around that much. But if they don't, at least they're in different locations. So there's one at like each end of the village. Now I'm just going to put one like somewhere in the middle. Like right here. Boom. Alright, there is three iron golems in the village now. They are protectors of the village. Including me, but I'm not really here a lot. Which just kind of sucks, because there's... I don't know why I'm not here a lot. There's really nothing for me to do here, though. That's another reason I'm not here a lot. Alright, but I think that's going to be it for this video, everyone. Um, I did not really... I didn't really do that much. I'm kind of running out of stuff to do. Like, I already beat the Ender Dragon. I still got to fight the Wither. But that requires going for Netherite. And I don't really know if you guys want to watch me do that, because that's boring as fuck. I mean, I just did mining, but I don't know. I'm, I'll, I'll go for netherite eventually, because uh, I still need a little bit more. I think I have just enough, but I still want a little bit more. And I need to go for the right enchants on my tools. And I don't really know how to do that without like an XP kind of farm. Or maybe I'll make one of those. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. All I really did was search the treasure ship. I got my treasure. got a diamond from it. Um, protected my village a bit more. And that was about it. But yeah, it was a little... Probably going to be a short video. I don't really know if it's going to be a short video, depending on what I keep and what I don't keep. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, everyone. I'm ending in the village. And, yeah, hope you guys made it this far. Comment down below if you did. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new, because that will really help me out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.